Today was the, the big day that I was working on a lot of the violin recording for Yumi. Uh, I'm going to show you the tracks that I recorded in Cubase. And this is the first time actually that I really started using this violin. Also, actually, I did uh, a song before I did Yumi's song, which was uh, just a, a cover song with uh, the, the two girls from England. Um, Maybe I'll talk about that later. But what I want to do is I want to show you the, the violin that I picked up here. It's probably not that easy to see. It's hard to fit it all into the view. But anyway, I picked this up in the city. Uh, it took me two and a half hours to get there. This is a really, really nice sounding violin for the recording. It's not the most expensive one that they had, though. There was one that was a couple hundred dollars more. But the tone of the other violin didn't match this one. And I'm not sure why, but this one, when you play the high notes, they actually sound really smooth. And when you play the, no the lower notes, it also has a really, really nice, smooth, warm tone. They also gave me a carbon fiber bow and a really nice case to put it into. It also has a, a wooden chin rest, which I like also. But I don't know if that makes much of a difference, but... Uh, the light that I'm using to show this is kind of dark anyway, but even if I had the regular light on, you'd see that it's a really dark brown. And uh, it's just a, it's a really gorgeous violin. plays really nice. Uh, when I was using the old violin, that was, uh, it was about $900. And I, I really wish I could have got uh, a more expensive one, but I just couldn't find one. I would have paid for it with a credit card and signed my soul away, even, <laughs> even if I had the opportunity, but I just couldn't find one until I found this one. But, um, I forget what I was going to say. Yeah, the difference between the old violin and this one, if you could compare it to a car, the old one was like driving uh, a Hyundai Elantra or, or something just a, like a plain vanilla car but then playing this one it's like when you when you buy a, a new vehicle and you're driving like an SUV or something like, like a really comfortable everything just feels comfortable it just feels like it's designed to fit your natural it's just meant it's it's like as it's just it's like it's designed for you and that's the same way it is with, with this fretboard, too. It's funny because when you look at the fretboard, it looks the same as any other violin, but when you play it, I don't know what it is about about the neck or the width, or it feels flat and precise. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's awesome. So that's what I use, and I'm going to show you what I was doing when I was... Uh, Recording the uh, violence today for Yumi's song. Here we go. Okay, so just excuse the crudity of, of this scene here. I'm just using the camera to zoom in on a flat screen monitor. But uh, what I'm going to show you is the layout here. Uh, this first track here is the synths. This is Yumi's vocal track. Uh, this is the guitar track that I put in, which is really subtle and it blends in really nicely with the synths. So I, wa I didn't want the guitar to come in too loud, and I didn't want to um, take away from what's already existing. I wanted to uh, enhance a little bit and put a little bit of a different spin on it. Uh, the bass track is meant to add a little bit of low end, and a little bit of percussion to what already exists. And here's a blank thing down here, which may look kind of blank, but there's a little line there that you can see. That is, I wonder if I can actually, okay, here's a good example of it. This is automation, and what I've done is I've programmed this instrument, which is the low violin, <coughs> to actually come in at a certain time. I'd listen to the song as the cursor drags along, and what the fuck was that? Anyway, so I want this instrument to come in at a certain point, so I was able to drag two dots over and specify how loud I want the instrument to come in and it's pretty constant all the way across just 
If I wanted to increase it along here, I could have, but it doesn't really matter. So here's another violin track down here. Same thing, so I've been programming the automation. What we have up here is the mixers and stuff. Uh, these little green buttons with the letter R in it says uh, read, but what that actually means is that I've programmed the automation into violin low, violin high, violin mid, bass and guitar, and yeah there's the guitar track there, but I didn't do any automation in Yumi's track or in the synths because those are already going to be programmed by someone else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be mixing down all of these tracks or yeah, I'm going to mix the whole thing down, then send it off to someone else, and they can increase the overall volume of it when they do the final mix down. So, uh, what I have up here, some of these are muted. I'm going to be muting the synths, I'm going to leave Yumi's vocal track in, I'm going to mute the guitar and the bass, so you'll be able to hear what the violins sound like right now if I go back to the beginning, and... It should be playing. These are kind of quiet right now. Hey, 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 call me a killer, killer, killer. I'll be shooting you down, down, down. All the way down, down, down. You can't come back into my life. I did my killing, did no wrong, wrong. Sugar, honey, I said you don't want you, don't want me, no, no, no. 